Welcome to CodeHub India an authorized testing center for the, the global certification from Microsoft, Adobe, Autodesk. This is the introductory video to host host Ropost Bootcamp in the colleges and school for the enhance of the technology and it will help the attending student to grave the global certification the different subject. The software used in the robotics is almost similar to the certification course software material of C language, C sharp, and JavaScript of the concept of logic. Which will certainly help to grow the skill of student for the global certification. Today topics is the project for the building travel tracking robot. Let us look on the robotics subject. Robotics is an exciting interdisciplinary topic the foundations of which rest on principles from various disciplines, including computer science, physics, engineering, and mathematics. Applications of robotics are varied and their scope is limited only by human imagination. Robotics history Since then researchers have been working in the field of robotics for a long time. In fact, the following link provides a neat timeline on the evolution of robotics from in use in the 1400s, and the notion of an artificial being was introduced in the 1700s. In the 1900s, the word robot was first used in the context of a play, and the word robot was described as something that lacks emotions. In the 1940s, British scientists designed the first autonomous machine, and in 1950 came the famous Turing test, in which Alan Turing proposed a test to determine whether machines could think. The 1970s and 1980s produced several advances in the design of robots with the introduction of mechanically controlled arms and other mobile robots that could be used in industry. The 1990s produced human-like robots that could be used in games such as soccer. The new millennium, 2000 until the present time, brought in advanced robotics in commercial and household applications. We see robots used as vacuum cleaners, mail delivery agents, surgeons in hospitals, and in many more situations. We also see new designs of robots such as flying drones that could be more suitable for some applications. In fact, robotics is becoming so pervasive in our daily lives that researchers in Auckland, New Zealand, predict that by 2020 the demand for robotics will become so high that there will be a dearth of engineers and programmers to meet this new demand. Robot Definition a robot is a mechanical device that can perform a given task depending on the instructions it is given. So, how is this different from a computer or a machine? Unlike a computer or a machine that performs a given task, typically, a robot not only performs the task given to it, but it is also able to use artificial intelligence AI, and learn from its experiences while performing given tasks. However, in this project we will limit our discussion to the application of robotics in various disciplines and the understanding of how to design robots that can perform tasks related to specific disciplines or fields such as healthcare, military, law enforcement, etc. Robots also come in various shapes and styles designed to accomplish specific tasks. Some robots are shaped like mechanical arms that perform tasks requiring arm-like limbs, such as lifting objects, placing items, drawing on a board, and other such tasks. Some robots are shaped like vehicles, such as unmanned cars, flying drones, underwater ships, and so on. So we see that robots have various shapes and styles for different purposes. Application of robot Robots are being used today in medicine. A robot can be so precise that it would be a great tool for performing surgery with. Robots can do incisions that are so clean that a person would not be able to see the cut from a distance after it healed. Doctors wouldn't have to fear of making the wrong incision or cutting too far. A robot would be programmed to cut a certain depth and place. Robots have been real helpful in researching. They have helped doctors excel in new discoveries and information. Robots are used in industrial factories. 
they help weld cars and parts together. Since their precision is so accurate when it comes to welding it looks like a professional did it. The nice thing is that robots aren't bothered by the bright light or heat. So these machines can do more work than humans can. The only thing required is the software. Robots are used for home entertainment and leisure. There are several home robot kits that people buy. Some kits make the robot follow a line or trace a line. Other robot kits are made so the robot can determine if it is on the table or on the floor and how far to go before it runs into the wall or off the table. These robots have light sensors and switch sensors. There are some robots that do house cleaning such as vacuum the floor or serve other people. Pet robots mimic actual pets which provide people with entertainment. These pet robots can bark, roll over, sit, and play with you. The production and uses for robots have increased rapidly since 1970s. Robots have become more and more popular. The size of the robot has also changed. Compared to a robot made in 1970s or 80s, the robots now can be smaller and much more portable too. The way technology is accelerating there could be a robot like the one in the Bicentennial Man. Uses the robot for navigation? Navigation is one of the basic features for a robot. Traveling robot, introduces basic navigation mechanisms that help the robot navigate using line tracking. In this project you will also learn how the robot can detect colors along its path. This feature can become a good option for making the robot take different paths depending on the color detected. You will learn how to use a line tracking algorithm and a color sensor. Military robots are autonomous robots or remote controlled devices designed for military applications. Some robots can be used to save some soldiers or save hurt civilians. For the Wi-Fi Bot Control is an Android app that allows you to remotely control a robot, or other device, via Wi-Fi. You can also, optional, view a video stream from an IP camera mounted to the robot. Wi-Fi Bot Control also provides up to 8 additional customizable command buttons that allow you to perform additional tasks on your robot slash device. You could use these commands to initiate other activities such as enabling slash disabling sensors, moving other servos slash arm slash picking something up, turning a LED on slash off etc. With the provided sample sketch, you can customize the robot to do what you want. Medical Applications Research on Robotics for Medical Applications started 15 years ago and is very active today. The purpose is threefold. First it is for robotic surgery. Robotic surgery can accomplish what doctors cannot because of precision and repeatability of robotic systems. Besides, robots are able to operate in a contained space inside. Robotics for Biological and Medical Applications 64 The Human Body All these make robots especially suitable for non-invasive or minimally invasive surgery and for better outcomes of surgery. Today, robots have been demonstrated or routinely used for heart, brain, spinal cord, throat, and knee surgeries at many hospitals in the United Doctors performing knee surgery using a robotic system. Since robotic surgery improves consistency and quality, it is becoming more and more popular. Robot Insecurity There is a problem in the security industry. More and better guards are needed to protect the nation's infrastructure. At the same time, there are fewer people willing to perform the dull and potentially dangerous job of physical security. Security for the public place, Mal Park Railway Human Gathering Places An entertainment robot is, as the name indicates, a robot that is not made for utilitarian use, as in production or domestic services, but for the sole subjective pleasure of the human it serves, 
usually the owner or his housemates, guests, or clients. Robotics technologies are applied in many areas of culture and entertainment. Expensive robotics are applied to the creation of narrative environments in commercial venues where servo motors, pneumatics, and hydraulic actuators are used to create movement with often pre-programmed responsive behaviors such as in Disneyland's Haunted House Ride. Entertainment robots can also be seen in the context of media arts where artists have been employing advanced technologies to create environments and artistic expression also utilizing the actuators and sensor to allow their robots to react and change in relation to viewers. A mobile robot is an automatic machine that is capable of locomotion. A spying robot is an example of a mobile robot capable of movement in a given environment. Mobile robots have the capability to move around in their environment and are not fixed to one physical location. Mobile robots can be autonomous, AMR, autonomous mobile robot, which means they are capable of navigating an uncontrolled environment without the need for physical or electromechanical guidance devices. Alternatively, Mobile robots can rely on guidance devices that allow them to travel a predefined navigation route in relatively controlled space, AGV, autonomous guided vehicle. By contrast, industrial robots are usually more or less stationary, consisting of a jointed arm, multi-linked manipulator, and gripper assembly, or end effector, attached to a fixed surface. Mobile robots have become more commonplace in commercial and industrial settings. Hospitals have been using autonomous mobile robots to move materials for many years. Warehouses have installed mobile robotic systems to efficiently move materials from stocking shelves to order fulfillment zones. Mobile robots are also a major focus of current research and almost every major university has one or more labs that focus on mobile robot research. Two mobile robots are also found in industrial, military and security settings. Domestic robots are consumer products, including entertainment robots and those that perform certain household tasks such as vacuuming or gardening. One solution to this problem is the assignment of robots to assist guard officers with their tasks. Course content of this boot camp is Introduction to Robotics History of Robotics What is a robot? Robots in commercial applications Basic robot navigation Robots in the military Wi-Fi networking Robots in medicine Weather monitor User interfaces Security Entertainment Mobile connections Conclusion Introduction traveling robot Chapter objectives Introduction Materials required Line sensor how does a line sensor work? Assembling the robot with the sensors. Lines and Sorch sketch. Using the lines and Sorch sketch. How the lines and Sorch code works. Line tracking. Line tracker sketch. How the code works. Learning to use the color sensor. Connections between the color sensor pins and Arduino board pins. Line sensor sketch for testing the line sensors and the color sensor. Testing the line sensor sketch. How the code works. Making the robot follow a track and stop at a specific point for a prescribed time. Linear and color sensor test sketch. How the code works. Conclusion. Thanks for watching the video.